This is something I've been wanting to do. The day that I came out here with Patrice. Uh, oh, Rick, this was the movie y'all saw on your honeymoon, right? The swing was right here. But we got permission. Look, I'll tell you what, why don't one of y'all stand guard at the front just to watch for people coming up the drive, okay? And the rest of them. And make sure that you're not seen. Don't, don't get in the window. Just holler at them. You see somebody coming up. Yeah. Chicken in the cage, right? Here. It was a really a shock to see it when I first came back here uh, because it's such a beautiful building and I don't remember it you know, looking nice like this at all. This is the door we cut down and, uh, or I cut down. And originally when we cut this, we had to put a sacrificial door on, you know, because they didn't want the owners, didn't want us to cut the original door. But I missed at one point and cut so there, in the building when we left, there was a big gash here from the chainsaw carving into the door frame. And when we came in, we were so afraid that, uh, that uh, I was going to miss my cue. When I came in the door, Danny Pearl was on the floor here um, filming up. And that's why there's this sort of goofy sh moment uh, in the filming where Leatherface sort of does this strange little jump, it's because Danny jumped up off the floor and ran out of the room while we were doing the scene, because I guess it was so scary having me kick in the door. So that sort of distracted me, and then I ran up. And if you look up this way, this is the window that Marilyn ran out of, or jumped out of. And as I remember at the time, these stairs, I think were just straight. I don't remember that they curved when she dove out the window there. Yeah, this is the hall where I carried Terry McMinn down. I, we brought Terry down this way. And then the, uh, uh, right about here was the wall with the sliding door where uh, Bill Vale was killed, then thrown into the corner over here. And this is where I uh, then carried Terry into the kitchen. I know that kitchen is all new, so we can go this way. This was the original dining room. This is where um, the, the lamp here was. We had, we had Marilyn tied here to the armchair right here. And this is about where we were feeding Grandpa. And then the dining table ran this way. And uh, Marilyn sat right about where that window is. And we, the dining room table was centered in this area here. And, uh, that dining scene was taken, we shot that during the day, and it was supposed to look like it was at night. Hey, Grandpa, we gonna let you have this one. It was sort of funny to come back and see it and see that people were eating their meals and you know having this sort of peaceful time. And there was a moment when we were in here having dinner six months ago, and we were eating right here, suddenly realizing that I was sitting right where the cook had been sitting during the movie, you know, and then Alan Danziger 
who had played a victim, of course, and apparently in the movie was being served up at that point, was sitting here, and then in fact he was sitting where Leatherface had been sitting. Um, so it was kind of neat to come back and see this in, in a sort of sane way uh, after the insanity of making the movie. Uh, it's kind of strange now to look out the window and realize that the barn isn't there, because I, I keep thinking we're still on Quick Hill, but obviously we're, you know, 100 miles away. And then over here was the room with all the feathers and the bone furniture. This was the living room in the film. And when, when Sally escaped, she's being, they're trying to kill her in the bucket right here. This is where she ran, and she went out this window here. The, let's see, the big, the big bone couch was right here, and then uh, we had the chicken hanging, um, the little bird cage with the chicken in it right about here, so that I had set up, the, we had the chair over here, and so when, uh, after I'd gotten um, Jerry, and was, you know, after Leatherface kills Jerry and is wondering what's going on, you know, Leatherface runs out here, and I ended up sitting here by this window, fretting, and uh, I really, this was a smelly room, because <laughs> of all the, all the bones. This room was all painted, let's see, it was mostly uh, skins and antlers and bones on the walls, and uh, as I remember, there was butcher's paper on the wall. I'm not sure now, after all these years, whether that was just in the kitchen that they covered all the walls with butcher's paper or whether they put butcher's paper in the dining room too. Uh, the only part that we actually used was the, the left side of the house, uh, the, the entryway going in and then these three rooms, the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen, and then that little room that we kind of created with the metal door. Um, and then, of course, the, the hallway going up the stairs. The rest of the house apparently was untouched. The people who were renting it just moved their things out into that part of the house, and we used this. And uh, I know in the hallway, it was, it was some calf hides and bones, and then the, uh, the big, the, the, the room at, behind the metal door was all antlers and, and skulls. And now the wall was pretty well covered, and I think the wall was red. I'm not sure. It's, it's been so many years, it's hard to remember. A lot of it's sort of a fog after a while during the filming, just because it was so insane during the filming. I mean, we lost all track of reality when we were doing this.